Okay. I just want to welcome you to Ability Works of Jackson. Um, we're very pleased that you're here. We're looking uh, forward to work with you. We hope that you enjoy this program and that it works for you. We want to find you a positive outcome to find employment. And the handbook is developed to help support you with assistance with finding a job. If you have any problems or if you have any questions, I want you to feel free to discuss that with us. Okay. The facility manager right now is vacant, um, but we'll soon have somebody in that position. Okay. Um, the assistant. Is who? It's Teresa. Um, she's the assistant for the facility manager. If you have any questions, you can ask her. Okay. Um, the evaluators, you have me, and I'm Amelda. We also have Naomi, and we also have Sabithia and Marcus. Okay. So it's four of us. Yeah. The production manager, her name is Layla. And we have um, different instructors. We have Marietta Coleman. We have Kareen Gordon. We have Katherine Smithers. And we're going to meet them all too. When we finish it here, okay. um, I will take you all out, and that way you can put the name with the faces. All of our staff are qualified. To work with um, individuals with different type of disabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't discriminate um, against sex or religions or race. They also are uh, certified in uh, CPR. We also have a first aid kit and blood pathogens. We also have that to um, clean up as well for yeah. dis diseases if someone is bleeding. We have, uh, they're certified in fire suppression and defensive driving and then also uh, proper lifting techniques. And they also have mental health training. And now we're going to talk about uh, okay, vocational evaluation. Right now you're in vocational uh, evaluation. And we're going to help prepare you for employment. So we're going to monitor you while you're out working on the floor. Okay. And we want to see, like, your work tolerance. We want to see uh, what hinders you when you're working. Mm -hmm. And you also want to also see you working in a group, um, see if you are attentive, to see if you accept supervision. And those are just some of the things that we look for when you're out working on the work floor. After you finish um, in uh, vocational evaluation, we will get you job ready for that program. Okay. During that time, uh, we'll be more attentive to help it improve your working, your work habits. We'll have different um, job ready class uh, because we want to see you successful with a job. When you complete uh, that evaluation for the job ready class. Okay. Um, your counselor uh, that referred you to Ability Works. Um, we will find placement service for you. And placement service is just us um, trying to find a job in the community for us to place you in.
Feel great. Feel great. Feel good. Feel good. Um, this mm. program is designed to help give you support to make sure that you're successful. Because it's important for you um, to get a job and also to keep a job. We'll also help you develop a resume. We'll help you with um, completing job applications. We will help you with looking for jobs. We will also help with application skills. We'll also refer you um, to whatever. If we're not unable to help you, we'll refer you to other people to make sure your needs are being met. Um, the services that we provide are vocational, <laughs> counseling, counseling guidance. Um, we also have job preparational training. We have work trial experience. We have work placement. And we also have follow-up services. Um, people that we can't serve at Ability to Work, um, people that is a danger to themselves or other people. People who don't know how to um, control control or manage their disabilities. People who can't be independent uh, and take care of their personal needs or their personal hygiene. People who can comply with the rules that we have here. Then they can't be a consumer of ability to work. Mm. Now we're going to talk about the payment practices, how you will get paid. Mm. Um, because when you work, um, the pay depends on how you work. Mm -hmm. So if you're working really fast and you complete a lot of tasks, then uh, that depends on how you get your pay. If you're not paying attention and you're kind of just going with your work, then your pay will be kind of low because it's not like a minimum wage. Right. It okay. just depends on the work you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just some of the rules that we have. Um, if you can't come to work, um, we need you to call, and the number is 601-898-7076. You need to call before 9 if there's an incident when you can't come to work. Okay. If you need to be absent. Okay. Um, every day, um, you'll work from 8 to 3.30, and those are your regular work hours. <coughs> 10, to 10, uh, 10 to 10, 15, you'll have your morning break. From 12 to 12.30 will be your lunch, only 30 minutes. From 2 to 2.10, um, that 10 minutes, that's your second break. Your afternoon break is only 10 minutes. Uh -huh. All co clients, you're responsible uh, for clocking in and out. You expect to be back at your work area on time. Um, we have different bells. When you hit the bell ring, um, you, you, you can go ahead and go back to your work area. We won't prompt you until you come on. It's time to go back. Um, you'll have to do that on your own. But we do have bells to indicate when your break is over. Yeah, if you're absent, um, you don't get paid if, if, if you're not here at work. We also give change at your breaks and your lunch. You, we only give change for $5 because all the machines require quarters. And the limit is five dollars. We don't change anything over five dollars. Um, you can only eat and have drinks only at your break. Um, you know, and only have to be in the break room unless your disability required to eat earlier. 
Ja, das dann. Au. Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you can't no smoking in the facility. We have a designated area outside. We strongly suggest that um for your personal items, we strongly suggest that you don't bring any personal right. items or anything that's expensive right. because we will not be responsible for that. Okay. You cannot use your phone on the work floor. And if it's an emergency, you have to go through your evaluator or your counselor. And make sure that you clean up after yourself. That's a must. Yeah. Um, also hygiene, uh, make sure that you, um, that you look nice, um, and make sure that your hygienes are in order. Um, the type of clothes that you wear for women, we need to make sure it's nothing low cut, um, not pants with the holes in them or not tight pants or anything that if we bend over, we can see our underwear. So none of that is permitted. No horse playing um, out in or in the foul language in the work area or in the break rooms. Do not leave your assigned work area. You have to stay in your work area. You have to get approval from whoever your instructor is first. Like if you need to go to the bathroom, make sure you just let them know. Um, before you leave. Okay. And um, we'll show you who your instructor is um, when we get done here. Okay. Two. Bam. Bam. Don't operate machinery. Any other machinery unless okay. you're auth authorized to. Okay. If you notice anything going on that shouldn't be, make sure you report it to um, your instructor immediately. If you finish with one work task, um, ask your instructor so you can see, uh, get another job task to do. And the pay period starts on Wednesdays and you get paid every two weeks. So, and, and you get paid every other Friday. Okay. It's, they get paid every week or every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Every two weeks. So, it'll be every other Friday. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the checks will be passed out um, at the end of the work day on that Friday. If you're absent on that day, you can pick up your check between 3 to 5. Okay. So if you're not here that Friday from 3 to 5, you can get your check. Um, if you have phone, you have to put your phone on, either cut it off or you can have it on vibrate, but you cannot use it on the work floor. You can't sell anything like candy or anything, chips, none of that. You can't do any selling. Don't damage the property here. I'm sorry. No clients can sit in there on vehicles. Okay. So like if you have your own car during the lunchtime or break time, you're not allowed to sell them. Okay. You still have to either go outside or to the break. Right. Hmm.